Hi guys! Welcome to Messy Art today and we are going to be doing some watercolor painting and I'm we're also going to be putting together the bottles the I spy bottles that were in your welcome packet. So the things that you're going to need are a white piece of paper, a white crayon, um, a cup of water that you can rinse your paintbrush on, and the watercolors that are in your welcome packet. Also, you are going to need uh, the bottles from your welcome packet that we sent home and uh, either rice, it can be white rice or rainbow rice or couscous or some dry beans because we're going to be making an ice spy bottle with that stuff later. So if you want to pause uh, the video, you can go and gather those things and then come on back. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make some art with secret messages. If you watched Wacky Science yesterday, Miss Sarah did some invisible ink. We are going to do a variation on that, uh, not the ones that she did, and we're going to use our watercolors. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to be moving the camera down onto the paper so you can see what I'm doing. You're not going to be able to see Miss Allison, but you'll be able to hear me when we paint. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to get our crayons ready and we are going to draw something or write your name and if you need help with letters maybe the adult can help but you can trace your hand um i'm going to use let's see i'm going to trace i'll trace all five of my hands all five of my fingers on my hand and we're going to trace this way with but we want to make sure we're pressing down with our crayon. And I'm going to make a secret message. Maybe that I will say, I could send to somebody. Maybe I could put it in the mail to my grandparents, or maybe I could send it to a friend. Let's see what else I'm going to write on here. Maybe I'm going to say something here. And maybe I'm going to make a shape. I wonder if you can guess what I'm doing by watching my hand. It's hard to see where I'm writing because on here it's white paper and white and white. It's hard to see. So how we're going to do that is we are going to take our our paints, but the first thing we have to do is so when we have watercolor paint, it's hard paint. So we want to loosen it up a little bit and we're going to drop some water in it to get them all ready. So I'm going to put some water and I'm going to rinse my brush and I want to mix those colors up and I'm going to maybe make some purple. That would be pretty. Ooh, and I'm going to do some yellow, but these are all dry. So we have to put some water on there just to get them set so that we can use them. And we're going to let this sit for one second while we let that water absorb in there. All right. And then I'm going to have to choose some colors to paint. I don't know. Let me think. I think I'm going to start up here. I'm going to start with this nice red. Oh, there we go. And I can paint my whole thing. Oh, look at that. I found the heart. Do you see the heart that appeared? What happens when we mix yellow and red? Does anybody know? I don't know. Let's see what happens if we mix up here. Some yellow. And the red. What color are we getting? Oh, I see. I see a little bit of orange. Do you see the orange there where they mix? That's interesting. Red and yellow make orange. I think I'm going to do some. Oh, I know. I'm going to do some green. Can you see those magic words appearing now? I can see them. 
Okay. And let's do some blue. I'm going to use lots of different colors on mine, but you could use all the same color on yours. You could use different colors on yours. We'll have to see. I wonder what your picture is going to look like. Ooh, look at that. That's like a lavender color. So a light purple, another name for it is lavender. And sometimes when you mix red and blue, what color does it make? Do you guys remember? Red and blue is going to make a, ooh, look, there's a purple, but it's a darker purple, isn't it? All right, so I've got my message here, and I've got my hand all traced. Is that popping out? Look at that. And we're going to do a little bit of color down here. That looks so good. All right, so some of this isn't all the way dry, but I'm going to show you. Look at this. It says... And it might be backwards for you guys. But I love books. Do you see that right there? And then look at my handprint with all those colors. That's so pretty. That's so neat. I hope you guys are having fun making your secret messages with some watercolor and doing some paint. All right. So the next thing is you're going to need your bottle. And if you didn't get a, a bottle in our welcome packet and you're choosing to do things just off the internet, just get an empty tea bottle rinsed out or an empty water bottle, and then you're going to collect things around your house. So uh, here's like an empty spool from Thread, and I've got this cute little pig button that I'm going to put on here, and an orange ball and a blue little marble. And I'm going to put some letters from a Scrabble in here. And I'm going to put maybe, oh, I have this really cute heart shape and some spiders. Ooh, a purple spider ring left over from Halloween. And a green and a black spider ring. Let's see. I'll put all those in. And I've got a button here, a yellow button. Oh, and a penny. That would be fun. And a paper clip. Those are simple things, right? Oh, and here's a little piece. Here's a ship from the game uh, Battleship. Put that in there. And I'm going to put in, let's see. Oh, this key. That's fun. There's a key. And we're just going to throw some stuff in here, okay? And they're going to be all down in there. Now, usually this is done with rice. But you can use dried beans, dry beans, or um, couscous. And I'm going to use couscous today because I went to the store this morning to buy some rice. But um, it was the special hours for senior citizens. So we want senior citizens to be safe. So I decided we'd come home and we'll do it with couscous. And if you have a... Uh, uh, I can't think of what it's... Oh, a funnel. I lost my word. Um, a funnel. That would be probably the easiest way to do it. But if you don't have a funnel, I want to show you another way. You can take a piece of paper and you can roll it to make it into a cone shape. And you see there's a hole at the end. And I'm just going to put that in here and hold this up. And I'm going to take my couscous, which is delicious. If you've never had couscous, you should try it. And these are tiny, little tiny noodles. And I'm going to put the, pour that in. Oh my goodness, listen to that sound. Doesn't it sound like rain? Sounds like a big rainstorm. Right. I'm gonna get make sure all of that's out of there. Ta-da! There we go. Now, as a tip for uh, the adults out there, um, 
I'm going to put this lid on and it's going to be fine to shake back and forth. Things aren't going to fly out. But I know little ones sometimes can figure out how to open these and they're working on those motor skills. So if you want to, you can put some glue right here. Some super glue would work or a hot glue. And then uh, put the cap on and it will stay on permanently. Now let's see what we can find. I'm going to shake this a little bit because everything's down here at the bottom. And we're going to shake this almost like a maraca. Shake, shake, shake. And we're going to shake things around and have them start moving. And then you're going to be able to have this bottle and play I Spy. Do any of you play I Spy? I Spy with my little eye. And I'm going to see if I can spy something. <gasps> oh, look at right there. I Spy a letter N. Oh, or maybe it's a letter Z. I'm not sure. And. I spy an orange ball and I can shake it some more and turn over. <gasps> I spy a heart and I think there's a key there. Oh, I lost it. Let's see. If I turn it this way. Uh, there's a key in there somewhere, but it keeps slipping out. What else? <gasps> oh, look, at, there's some more things that I, oh, I spy a red heart and a thimble. And look at, there's that silly pig button. And you can play this over and over and shake them around and they'll pop up in different spots. And you can look for things and play I Spy. Sometimes when I'm in the car, I play I Spy too. And we'll play I Spy with my little eye. Something that is red and is an octagon and has some letters on it. Do you guys know what I was spying outside? It's a stop sign. Okay. Well, it was so much fun to do some art with you guys, and uh, we'll come back next week on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Bye, guys.